Anayeon hasayo. This means good morning or good day in Korean. Today I'm in beautiful Seoul, Korea, and I wanted to shoot a quick little video to give you a couple of ideas that can make the day even better. The reason I'm here is because I'm speaking to a group of highly energized professional sales individuals who are looking to get an edge in how to sell and position their products. But that's not what I'm going to talk to you about today. Today I want to talk to you about three things that can help you get what it is that you want in life. So the first thing is desire. Now I know you've heard this before, but at the end of the day, everything begins with a burning desire that you have to get whatever it is that you want in life. You have to be really clear about what you want and it has to come from within. It has to be a burning desire from within that propels you to do things that other people will not do to get the things that you want to get done in life. And part of this is becoming the person who's worthy to have these great results in your life. So from one to 10, I want you to ask yourself, what is your burning desire to get what it is that you want in life? And be as specific as you can and ask yourself relative to different things in your life, how does this burning desire stack up? For example, your burning desire to get out of a burning building that is set on fire is going to be pretty high. So let's assume that that's a 10. What is your burning desire to get what you want out of life from 1 to 10? Okay, the second thing is belief. Belief is critical. Without belief, you cannot make any action steps to move forward. And without action steps, you're just not going to get the results that you want. So belief is a big driver behind whether you decide to take an action step or not. Because if you don't believe that you can do it, you're not going to be wanting to do it because you're going to feel that that's a setback and in your own subconscious mind, a confirmation that the goal was not appropriate for you. So belief is so important. Your inner game on what you can accomplish sets up the stage for everything. So, so far we've covered desire, we've covered belief. Now we got to talk about will. Your will to do whatever it takes, legally and ethically, to get what it is that you want done, has to be there. If you have a high desire and a high belief, but a low amount of will, you simply will not make enough mistakes to climb forward and get the results that you want. That's right, folks. Getting to be in a successful position is about making lots and lots of mistakes. I should tell you about some of the speaking events that I've done in the past, some of the speaking occasions that I've, I've talked at and how the words did not come about in the right way because I was not practiced. I didn't have the message focused. I didn't have what it is that I needed to share in a compelling and passionate way to communicate with transparency and authenticity. And those events didn't work out so well for me. <clears throat> but what you do is you learn. You learn what it is that you need to do to get better and you take every experience as a learning experience or as, or as also a confirmation that you did a, a job well done but there's still always room for improvement. So we've talked about desire, belief and will. So again, I wanna ask you from zero to 10, what is your will to do whatever it takes legally and ethically to get the job done? Again, let's use the burning building as an example. If you are at the 20th floor of a burning building, your will to get out of it, if it's on fire, is gonna be pretty high. Let's call that a 10. So now let me ask you, what is your will to move your business forward, to get your marketing done in a professional manner, to work with your sales team so that you can help more customers, so that you can realize your purpose for why you're in business, why you started your business in the first place. So these are the three things that I want you to focus on today. And I'm just going to take the camera now and just show you a little bit of what else, what's outside my window here. So let me just give you a quick preview before I go down to breakfast. Okay. Oh, what do you know? Apparently, you can't switch a camera on an iPhone when you are in the middle of making a video. So let's just move the camera this way. And I'll show you what's behind me a little bit. You can see that I am... Uh, this is basically what, I'm just outside of Seoul, and um, you can see that this is a pretty impressive city. It's a beautiful place. I really love Seoul. The people are phenomenal. The food is great, and I'm staying in a beautiful hotel. I'm at the Grand Intercontinental Hotel. So anyway, I'd like to now just bid you farewell, and as we say in Korean, Gamsa Habnida. That means thank you very much. Take care. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.